Hello friends, this is Lee. I go by the Snap Trick here on YouTube and I make videos about all things photography. So please subscribe if you wanna see more. A new product has recently come to the mirrorless photography world. It made some news, but to me, it's actually quite significant. The Megadap MTZ Leica M to Nikon Z autofocus adapter. This is really important news on two levels. For one, let's talk about M mount lenses for a moment. This is a Leica manual focus lens standard fully embraced by Leica and some other lens manufacturers as well, such as Voigtlander and more recently Seven Artisans. This mount has been around since 1954, so there are many, many lenses to choose from. They are generally compact lenses, normally quite enjoyable and mindful to use for the manual focus crowd. And with the many generations and variety of M mount lenses, there's something for everyone and for every budget. I am interrupting this video for a quick notification. <laughs> Members, make sure that you check out this week's member feature. I am sharing some photos that I'm taking with my phone on this desert run that I am on right now. We're checking out the raw capability of the iPhone, how it compares to the JPEG images, and as I will be out here past dark, I'll be using the night mode as well. However, while members, you can check out the link below to find that video. I also have begun posting the Landscapes long form course that takes you from gear to settings, to editing, to creativity, things like composition and color, and even where to go next with your landscape photography. And you don't need a fancy camera for this course. I discuss techniques specific to point and shoot cameras and phone cameras, as well as those fancy cameras those courses, all of my long form courses are available to members. So members, again, check out the link below to find this week's member featured video, but also that course. And for everyone else, if you are interested in becoming a member to see the long form courses and my weekly other videos that I share with members and everything else that members get, there is a link in the description to learn more about channel membership. So I'm out of breath just from talking. <laughs> I have to finish this run. It's going to be a late one. I'll be out here past dark, which is good because I'll be able to take some night mode photos with my new phone. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Back to the video. With the M mount, wide aperture prime lenses are the main attraction. It's quite common to see M mount lenses that can open their aperture to F2 or F1.1 or even F.95, depending on the lens. One thing we've learned about M mount lenses is that they each have their own personality and character. They don't have necessarily all of the corrective optics that modern designs of much larger prime lenses have. For us, M-mount lenses are a get up and go lens where the character of the lens itself is equally important as the technical quality of the images. They're lenses that can certainly be used for serious work and are similarly comfortable for fun photography or just getting out with your camera with no outcome in mind. We've enjoyed our two M mount lenses to date and we expect to have many more in the future. The allure of M mount lenses in the mirrorless age is that they don't rely on electronics and the design and dimensions of the mount allow it to be adapted to virtually any modern mirrorless standard. The aperture and focus are set on the lens, so there's just nothing to think about when it comes to camera and M mount lens compatibility other than a physical adapter. Normally when you are adapting, especially without any electronics in the lens, you're talking manual focus exclusively, and we enjoy that, but it's a different tone when you are shooting manual focus. Mirrorless cameras make it easier than ever to focus manually, but for those accustomed to full-time autofocus, this can feel limiting and therefore limiting the usefulness of M-mount lenses and other adapted lenses to the masses. Megadap just changed that for Nikon Z camera owners. This adapter allows for autofocusing of M-mount lenses. You simply set the lens's own focus to infinity, and with the camera adapter and lens, the adapter is transforming itself as you autofocus, adjusting the distance of the lens to the sensor, effectively focusing a manual lens with autofocus. I'm not kidding. You're adding autofocus to lenses that can be more than 50 years old. It focuses well. It's not silent. Mm -hmm. but you're gleefully mounting those fabulously simple M-mount lenses 
pointing your camera, having the adapter lock focus by moving the lens, and you're getting the shot. This adapter works with all Z cameras to date, Z6 and Z7 through Z50, and the new Z62 and Z72. Here's the second aspect. You can mount adapters to this adapter, M mount to Nikon F mount, and other combinations. Generally DSLR lenses that have a longer flange distance than the M mount, and by adding an adapter, the world is yours. <laughs> Tired of owning a Z body that can't autofocus with older AF and AFD Nikon F mount lenses? Be tired no more. This 35 millimeter F2 AFD lens and this old 24 millimeter F2.8 AFD lens. We're autofocusing with them on our Nikon Z camera whose own F mount adapter won't autofocus these lenses. This 50 millimeter F1.8 manual focus Nikon lens from the 1970s, now autofocusing on your Nikon Z camera. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this 80 to 200 f4 push pull zoom lens, straight out of a 1970s spy thriller, now autofocusing on your Nikon Z camera. The possibilities are just amazing. Performance was as good, or maybe even a little bit better than we expected. It feels, performs, and sounds much like using an older autofocus lens with the focus motor in the camera body. There's noise, there's occasionally some hunting, but most often there's smooth, faster performance, including face and eye detect and subject tracking. Not previously possible with older lenses on the Nikon Z series and autofocus on even older lenses that were never originally intended to have any form of autofocus. Initially, we were apprehensive about stacking adapters. We'd never done that before, but since the camera doesn't talk to the second adapter, just like it doesn't really talk to an M-mount lens, and everything with the two adapters is nice and solid physically, any apprehension quickly dissolved into enjoyment of our M-mount lenses and our manual focus Nikon lenses and our older autofocus lenses in a new way. Don't get me wrong, I will shoot manual focus all day, but when I want to, I don't know, concentrate less, use the older, sometimes quirky glass and enjoy autofocus, this new adapter from Megadap really scratches the itch. These are great times to be a mirrorless camera owner. Your manufacturer's lenses obviously work great with your camera, but when you want to use some older lenses from all different standards and systems, mirrorless cameras like the Nikon Z cameras really can deliver. For the manual focus crowd, it's easier than ever to use the viewfinder or rear screen to focus with any sort of lens, new or old. And now the autofocus crowd, particularly for Nikon Z camera owners, takes on an entirely new dimension with their ability to mount an autofocus with M-mount lenses from different manufacturers, along with thousands of other lenses from Nikon F-mount and many other systems. If there's one thing that we've learned about 2020, do your own thing. <laughs> and for us, that has meant experimenting with photography and gear in ways that we just hadn't dreamed of before. This adapter has propelled that spirit further and further for us. Special thanks to Megadap for providing this sample of their adapter, and I'm placing some links in the description below to the adapter and some of the lenses that we have used or plan to use in this new way with our Nikon Z cameras. We're using it daily, so we are happy to answer any questions that you leave down in the comments. Adapting lenses has been the theme of several of my recent videos. Like I said, we've been experimenting with it. So let's keep the conversation going in those comments about some of the projects and experiments that you may have tried or are thinking about trying when it comes to using one type of lens on a different type of camera. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Those things are a big help for the channel. And thank you for watching.